Good morning, modern steaders. It's a heat wave this morning. 22 degrees out and snowing. I don't know, we got about two inches of the white stuff overnight and they're calling for anywhere from four to seven inches today. Nobody knows what we're getting. All I know is it went from fall to winter so fast. This is abnormal for us. Facebook shared a memory with me yesterday and three years ago to the day, I had just finished up siding our house up there. No snow, I was in a long sleeve shirt or a sweatshirt putting the siding on. <sighs> what a difference a couple of years can make. What are you doing? It looks dark in there again. Swap out your water. How are you doing, Pluto? Hey, you girls go. Oh, you gotta come out in the snow. Can you handle it, Willow? <laughs> She's like, nope. Uh, go on the other side. The hay feed is two sided. That's too funny. They don't want to walk in the snow to get to the other side. <laughs> Olivia's got another two hour delay of school from school again this morning. I'd be curious to see if they cancel school or if they still go. So I stopped at the post office the other day and there was a package for Miss Olivia Alumna. I had to open it to make sure it was safe. And it is from... Hi Olivia, hope you find this a help. We love watching your video here in the UK. From Irene and Tony. What is it? It's a music stand. Yeah. So now if you have a snow day today, you can play your flute with your, you can play your flute with your new music stand. Yay. What do you say? Yay. Thank you. <laughs> now we can take it off for Christmas. Day. Right. Now Santa don't need to get it. Is that a good size? You can go up. Yeah. Right. Oh. You like this one can go up. Oh yeah. Still too. Okay. To the height you want it. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. Let's see. Cool beans. You have a good day too. Love you. We've been getting messages from viewers all over the country, some even the world, that their weather is just as cold or extremely cold for their area as ours. Texas has been freezing. Georgia's been getting snow. We're just in a crazy weather pattern. <sighs> Makes me feel better that we're not alone. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be the only one digging out of snow before Thanksgiving. And then we've gotten some comments, people telling us it's going to warm up. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed it's going to warm up, the snow will melt off, and then we can move New York City. Ladies coming out. Come on. Don't be bashful. I can't blame him for not wanting to come out. <laughs> Foose, you're super loud inside New York City. What are you doing? I can see the main road from here. 
It looks pretty clear right there. Olivia's inside the house hoping school gets canceled today. I don't think it's going to. She's all excited. She wanted to stay home and play her flute, but she'll have to wait till she gets home from school. I think it's funny how our inside pets love the snow and the in the outdoors. And the outside animals don't want nothing to do with the snow. Come on, blow it out. This way. Hey. Oh man, they didn't cancel school on you. Oh. Oh, you guys liking all the hay? Wonder who will come over first. It'll be a duck or a chicken. It was a chicken. Yesterday, after we got the snow tires on, I cleaned up the yard with the plow. I was getting Olivia off the bus, and I was driving down the road. And then I plowed the road a little wider. I tried to keep it open. Push back the snow banks, otherwise it ends up crowding in. You don't have much road left come the end of the year. When I was doing that, there's a bunch of trees and brush that grew in this summer. And they were starting to scratch the new truck. Oh, that's not a good thing. We're gonna take care of them. It's usually all these little things that make a huge difference on the homestead. Keep everything tidied up and makes a big difference. Pretty sure it was these branches right here that would get in the truck. Oops. Trying to keep in mind too is if we get a heavy snow, these light branches are gonna get weighted down and into the road too. I'm trying to get as high up as I can, which isn't always easy because I'm not very tall.
should be pretty good. It's starting to come down pretty good right now. The storm was kind of a dud for us. They were calling from anywhere between 4 and 12 inches of snow. And I'm gonna say the most we got was 4 inches. If we're lucky. Goats are staring at me. Dude, what are you doing? They're saying, huh? What are you doing? We got a tree on this side. This is gonna be the obstacle of the year right here. I know we're jumping all over the place, guys. Now we're on the road, plowing the road out. And now it's a misting rain, making all the snow I just plowed nice and slick. When are you ladies gonna brave the snow and adventure out a little bit more, huh? I can see tracks by the water, so I know you're coming out a little bit. I'm freeing the goats. I don't, I don't think they'll go too far. What are you doing? I'm thinking this is a good time of the year to start training them to like free range the property. I bet this will get their attention. You want some hay? Nope. <laughs> They've already been in and out a couple of times. Willow, where are you going? 
Let's go back in. Uh, come on. I'm sure if I get Willow, they'll all follow. Good girls. There's hay in there. I'm hoping to get the goats more used to running around in this area that I'm plowing and that they stay down. And I'm hoping that I get used to just letting them out and get comfortable with them running around. Oh, you're using your new music stand? Mm -hmm. How do you like it? It's good. It's good? You want some light? Sure. Does that help? Job. Tonight we're gonna try a new recipe. We have some leftover pork roast in the refrigerator. So we're gonna make an, like a Chinese food orange glaze to put on it like you'd have on like a Chinese orange chicken. We've got one cup chicken broth, half a cup of orange juice, third of a cup of distilled white vinegar, quarter cup tamari or soy sauce, I got some minced garlic, two cloves, half a cup of sugar, we're going to do a quarter teaspoon of ginger, and then a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. Then to thicken the marinade, I got three tablespoons water, and I'm put in three tablespoons cornstarch. Once the marinade mixture comes to a boil, I can stir in the cornstarch and water mixture and start thickening. Now that the marinade's thickened a little bit, I'm gonna add in our pork roast that I cubed up. It's already been cooked, so it's just gonna be reheating in the marinade. I had a spoon. Delicious. This is definitely my new favorite glaze to make. That orange glaze was delicious on top of that pork, some rice, and some broccoli. Mmm. I was reading the comments after the video on Saturday, which was titled, We Lost Our Rooster Moose. We're sorry we gave you all a heart attack. We would just want to let you know that we lost moose under New York City. We didn't think everybody was gonna think that he went to rooster heaven, but just wanted to thank you all for coming along on our journey with us as we build our modern homestead here at Lumna Acres, and we'll see you guys right back here in the next video.